The problem statement in question 1 of this exercise is as follows. Which term of the arithmetic progression 121, 117, 113, so on, which term of this AP is its first negative term? So this AP starts off with a positive term 121, but you can see that it's decreasing. So every term is less than the previous term, which means that at some point the terms of this AP will become negative. So we have to find the first negative term in this AP. And we are also given a hint. The hint says that find n for which a n less than 0. So this is the approach we are going to follow. We will write an expression for a n, the nth term. And then we will find that value of n for which a n becomes less than 0 for the first time. Okay, so let's do that. So a n, we will use the expression a n is a plus n minus 1 times d. Now, what is A, the first term, and what is the D, the common difference? So, the first term is 121, and the common difference is the difference between any pair of consecutive terms. So, for example, it is 113 minus 117, so D is equal to minus 4. So, now, using this, we can write an expression for A n. So, A n, or the nth term, will be A, which is 121, plus n minus 1, times d which is minus 4. So we can write this as 121 minus 4n plus 4 or we can write this as 125 minus 4n. So a n the nth term is equal to 125 minus 4n. Now we have to find that value of n for which this becomes negative for the first time or we have to find the smallest value of n for which this expression becomes negative. So let's find that. So we need 125 minus 4n should be less than 0. This means that 125 should be less than 4n. So if we now divide both sides by 4, we will get 125 by 4 should be less than n. Now 125 by 4 is 31.25 so I can write this inequality as n should be greater than 31.25 so if n is greater than 31.25 then this inequality will hold true or 125 minus 4n will be less than 0 so the first integer value of n for which n is greater than 31.25 is n equal to 32 so if n is equal to 32 then 125 minus 4n will become negative for the first time. So the, uh, the conclusion we can draw is that the first negative term is the 32nd term. So this is the first negative term. And what is the value of this term? So the value can be found just by substituting n equal to 32 into uh, this expression so the first negative term a32 will be 125 minus 4 into 32 or 125 minus 4 into 32 is 128 or this is equal to minus 3 so the first negative term of the arithmetic progression is minus 3 and it occurs at the 32nd position in the ap to learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.